Hello, everybody, and welcome to EOSN. And we are here to show you the first game of our NFL play along. Well, it's not really an NFL play along anymore. It is now the Football Classic. It is a one and done single elimination team featuring all 32 teams of the NFL. We will be showing you the bracket here in a minute. But first, we will take care of this game involving the reigning world champion, Houston Texans opening up their season against the uh, <laughs> against the Denver Broncos. Sorry, just taking a minute. Big off season for both of these teams. Denver will be uh, it'll be very interesting to see who they start at quarterback with their new coach. And for the Texans, Deshaun Watson will take over for Brian Hoyer, who retired after his Super Bowl victory last year in this building. This will be one of two regular season games we show. Because we are so far behind schedule, we will be doing the uh, a uh, quick update show where we will get us all the way to the playoffs. So, without further ado, let us show you our bracket. One second. All right, here it is. And all these are randomly selected. By the way, we originally had the bracket we showed you. We had Houston as the number one and uh, Minnesota as the number one in the NFC based on last year's records. But we decided, hey, let's do it completely random. Uh, reigning champion may not have the best record. And that is kind of the case is our first game will always feature the reigning champion. It'll be Houston number eight taking on Denver number nine. Then immediately following that, we will go to the NFC side of things where the Green Bay Packers will be hosting the New York Giants. And we have that full game in the can ready for you. As I mentioned before, I do not know the outcomes of these games. I simply sim it, turn it off, record it, and then I get a reaction just like you. After that, we'll be showing you the final scores to games, like much like we did with our update show in the uh, baseball classic. Oakland at Jacksonville in London, the Rams at Chicago, the Pats at the Dolphins, Buffalo at the Jets, Baltimore at Cleveland, Detroit at Indianapolis, the 49ers at Carolina, the Chargers at Tennessee, the Cowboys at the Eagles should be a very good game there. As you can see, Pittsburgh, the number one seed in the AFC again. They were number one last year as well. Tampa Bay at number one, Arizona. Now, as I mentioned, these were completely random. So, And then Cincinnati at Minnesota in Mexico City. Atlanta at Washington and New Orleans at Kansas City. And that wraps up round one. So we'll be bringing you update shows for all of the round one games, as known as first half of the season, and the round two games, known as second half of the season. So without further ado, what do you say we take you to NRG Stadium side of Super Bowl 51, where the reigning champion, Houston Texans, getting ready to take on the D Denver Broncos. Matchup of the last two Super Bowl champions, actually. So this should be a lot of fun. A game that was simmed was Madden 17, and we used a downloadable roster of all the 2018 players. And very, very interesting, a lot of the players are very similarly ranked to each other. So literally any team could win the Super Bowl this year in the first football classic. And there they are, the Houston Texans getting ready to come out there and start their title defense. 87 degrees here on a afternoon in the Lone Star State. And here they come, led by rookie quarterback Deshaun Watson. He was not part of that team that won the championship last year, but he wants to lead them to the second straight championship. As we mentioned, Brian Hoyer retired. There are the Denver Broncos. And we meet for the coin toss. Eight-minute quarters here in the NFL Classic. Looks like Denver will be receiving the kickoff. And the kicker for Houston, Fairbron, will be booting it away. 
Abron kicks it up, and we are underway here at the first NFL Classic. Caught by Robbie just inside the end zone, crossed the 10, brought down at the 15. So not a very good return for the Denver Broncos. And now Trevor Simeon, he will be coming out to play quarterback for the Broncos. Winner moves on to the next round. Loser's season is over. First play from scrimmage. Simeon flanked by a running back from the gun. Back to Castro's deep, fires. Intercepted by Joseph. Right off the bat, the Texans get a big play, and they run it all the way down to the Denver 35. And now Deshaun Watson will get a chance to come out, one of the highly rated quarterbacks in the league this year. Watson. First play from scrimmage will be from the gun, flanked by a running back, trips to the left. Back goes Watson, hands off to, takes the hand off to Miller. And he throws it, nearly batted down, batted down. There's that offensive line for the Houston Texans. And then DeAndre Hopkins, the star receiver for the Tekken Texans, our highlighted player here for the Houston offense. Under center, eye formation. One to the right, two to the left, hands off to Miller. Miller goes around, across the 30. Takes a few, about three Broncos all the way down to the 29. Wolf, Pecco, Crick, of course, the defensive line for the Broncos. Miller, Marshall, Davis, and Ray, the linebackers, are the secondary being highlighted by Aqib Tlaib. And that's the way Denver is going to play it. As it's going to be a shotgun formation, empty backfield. Two to the left, one to the right. Watson dropping back to pass, two-step drop, throws, hit on the throw, intercepted by Aqib Tlaib at the five. Tlaib cross the five, 10, brought down about the 12. So one interception deserves another apparently as Aqib Tlaib picks off Deshaun Watson deep in Denver territory. What a play by Aqib Tlaib. We've got excitement early here in the first game of the NFL Classic 1. Now we'll see the offense for the Broncos come out again. They only got one play before Trevor Simeon threw an interception. And it's going to be two to the right, one to the left, flanked in the backfield. Simeon hands off to Jamal Charles. Charles goes straight ahead, cross the 10, brought down at the 12. And then on the play, it's second and 10. Here's the offensive line for the Denver Broncos. Backs and receivers highlighted by Demarius Thomas, the wide receiver. We'll see if Denver can answer quickly. Two to the right, one to the left, flanked by Charles. Simeon from the gun, drops back to pass, throws short slant to Green. Green makes the catch at about the 19, brought down fairly quickly. J.J. Watt, Watkins, and Clowney, the defensive line with Cunningham, Peters, McKinley, and Whitney, White, Whitney Merciless highlighting the linebacker core. And then a pretty good secondary, as we saw earlier with the pickoff by Vance Joseph on the first play from scrimmage. Two to the right, one to the left for Denver, flanked by Charles from the gun again. Simeon hands off to Charles. Charles goes straight ahead, brought down at the 20. Gain of... One on the play, and it's fourth and one. Kyle Drummond with the tackle, and now here comes the punter for Denver. Dixon puts this one high. It's going to be caught by Strong. He crosses the 40, gets to the 45, and it will be first and 10 from the 46. Five forty-four left in the first quarter. Ball on the Houston 46. Watson under center. Strong eye formation for the Texans. Hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead. Cross the 50. Brought down in Denver territory. Just barely gain of six on the play. Ball on the Denver 48. Second and four. Five and a half minutes and counting left to go in the first quarter.
High formation, one up to the left, one to the right, under center, Watson. Watson drops back to pass, throws, and he can't get it off. He's gonna get sacked. Wolf with the hit. Watson looked like he was gonna get that pass off, but it didn't happen. Right here, you can see Wolf. No one picks him up. He gets right around Allen and goes straight for Watson. It's now third and 11, huge loss. And now, ball is back in Houston territory. Shock information, trips to the left, two to the right. Sends a man in motion. Watson, drop back to pass, throws deep, fires, and it's way incomplete. Watson was hit on the pass, misses Jalen Strong by a mile, and it's fourth and 11, so Houston will have to punt it away. So far, a defensive showdown right now between these two AFC clubs. Leckler with the punt high. And it goes out of bounds around the 20. Ball will be marked at the Denver 24. Four thirty-seven left to go in the first quarter. Simeon under center, two to the right, one to the left. Charles in the backfield, sends a man in motion from right to left. Simeon back to pass, he's got pressure. Simeon drops. Pressure thrown by the Houston Texans, but it'll be, waiting for a name to show up, a sack. Cunningham makes the move to get him down. 4.20 left in the game in the first quarter. Total yards, look at that. Denver three, Houston five. Total yards for the entire game. Two on each end, shock information flanked by Charles. Simeon drops back to pass, throws. Caught by Sanders, Sanders across the 30. Gets almost to the first down. It will be 33 coming up for the Broncos. Crossing the four minute mark here in quarter number one. Joseph with the tackle. Left Sanders wide open. Can't do that with him. Denver, third and three from their own 32. Simeon under center, one wide receiver on each end. In the backfield is Charles, hands off to Charles. Charles goes straight ahead and he's gonna get the first down. Actually, they're gonna say fourth and inches. He barely didn't get there, supposedly. McKinney with the tackle and now here comes the punter for Denver. I thought he got across the line, but apparently I was wrong. Dixon puts this one high. And it's gonna be caught by Strong at the 30, brought down at the 35. It literally goes nowhere. First and 10 from the Houston 35 for the Texans. It's time to get something going if you're Houston. Watson, shock information, flanked by Miller. Two to the left. Watson back to pass. Throws it, gets to Hopkins at the 40. Cross the 45, brought down at the 46. First and 10 for Houston. That's the first big play, it seems like, that Houston's been able to get off. Sean Watson just might be having some rookie jitters here. And we'll see what happens next. Two fifty and counting left in the first quarter. Watson. Under center with the I formation for the Texans. Two to the right, one to the left, and there's a flag. We'll see what the call is, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be against Denver, and it is. It's gonna be encroachment on Pekka, for Pekko. So instead of it being first and 10, it's now first and five. Two thirty-nine left on the clock. Ball 
on the 49-yard line of the Denver Broncos. So barely in Denver territory. Can they complete it and make a move here? Shotgun formation flanked by Miller to the left and one to the right. Watson steps up, throws to DJ Fedorowicz, the tight end, and he's dropped at the 47. Second and three coming up after a gain of seven. Tackle made by Ward. CJ Fedorowicz got open, but Ward immediately there to meet him after the catch. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Nothing, nothing the score, as you can see. Ball on the Denver 47. Under center. Watson, hands off to Hopkins on the jet. Goes around to the left, brought down. At the 47, no gain on the play. Third and three coming up. Nice little trick play there by the Texans, but the Broncos did a great job stuffing it. Less than two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Nothing, nothing the score. Third and three from the Denver 47 as the Texans break huddle. Shotgun formation flanked by Miller, two to the left and one to the right. Watson drops back, throws, finds Godorowicz, gets across for the first down, no problem. Brought down finally at the 42 of Denver. And Houston continues to march it. Fedorowicz, two receptions for seven yards thus far. Pretty good game by him. That time he had him fooled and got open. Ward wasn't there to make the play. To leave the man finally bringing him down. But this is the first sign of offensive momentum we've seen from either team. Watson under center, I formation, two to the right, one to the left, or two to the right, one offset. Takes the hand off to Miller, Watson goes deep, fires, finds Hopkins inside the 20. First trip to the red zone this season by any team. And it's first and 10 from the 16, 36 yards so far for Hopkins. Ward with the tackle. Hopkins just turns on the Jets. Ward, good coverage, but you can't stop him from getting his hands on that ball, apparently. Forty seconds left in the first quarter. It's nothing, nothing. First and ten from the 16 of Denver for the Texans. High formation to the left, one offset with Miller in the backfield. Watson hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead, stuffed. Loss of one on the play to Lamar Miller. This Houston Texans team, a little bit different than the squad we saw take the championship last year. Alfred Blue's gone. Brian Horrier's gone. DeAndre Hopkins still there, of course, as he's had a good game so far. Strong affirmation with one right seated to the left. And that's going to end the first quarter. So a quarter of the way there here at RNRG Stadium in the NFL Classic 1 opener. It is nothing, nothing. Denver and Houston, second quarter when we return. And we welcome you back to NRG Stadium here in beautiful downtown Houston, Texas. Side of Super Bowl 51 as well. We join the second quarter. It is second and 11 from the, the Denver 17 for the Texans. As you can see, no score in this contest so far. Defensive battle. And right now, it looks like the Texans could be the first to strike as they are easily within field goal range. We'll see what happens here. Strong eye formation for the Texans. Broncos. Nails him. Miller, not a chance. Marshall with a, Brandon Marshall with an absolutely 
depleting tackle of Lamar Miller. Just knocks him dead. And it's now third and 14, another loss. And now they're all the way back at the 20. So now the question is, is do you go for it? For the first, trying to get the first down, or do you just try to keep yourself in field goal range? Watson steps back to pass. Plenty of time, throws, caught by Fedorowicz across the first down marker, and it is now first and goal. So the Texans are not done yet here in the red zone. 59 total yards for Houston thus far. 52 of it passing on the arm of rookie Deshaun Watson. And this just rests that stellar Houston Texans defense right now. They're getting everything they could have hoped for from their offense. Texan showing the I formation. Two to the right, one to the left. Watson under center. Hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead, busts into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. So Houston strikes one minute into the second quarter. It's 6 0 for now. Thanks to the run by Lamar Miller. They won the last game of the season last year. Will they win the first of the game, se game of the season this year? Savage with the hold, the kick is up and it is good. No problem there for the Texans. Lamar Miller, five carries for 13 yards thus far. And we're only getting warmed up. Set the ball on the tee and away we go for Fairburn. Kick is up. Caught by Robbie in the end zone, he kneels it. And we're gonna continue this one from the 25. Trevor Simeon and the Broncos are gonna come out and they need to have an answer. 18 total yards for Houston thus far. Three rushing yards for Houston and only five or for Denver, only five for. As Drummond picks off Simeon. It's looking that type, like that type of game, folks, and it's first and 10 for the Texans in Denver in uh, Houston territory. Trevor Simeon looked like he tried to force that one too much as Drummond jumps the route. And that's the second interception thrown by Trevor Simeon tonight or this afternoon. Sorry, guys, this is the first football game I've done in a while, so I definitely feel rusty. I'll do better next time. 7 0 for Houston. And it could get bigger. Watson, shock information, flanked by Miller, three to the right. Watson back to pass. Good protection, short pass to Miller. Miller tries to get across the first down, and he does. And it's going to be first and 10 from the Houston 48. Smart throw there by Deshaun Watson just to find the open short pass to Miller, who's got the power and the strength to bust through all these Denver Broncos to get that first down. Watson giving his last commands. 6.30 left in the half. 77 total yards for Houston, 13 rushing. Of course, 64 passing. Watson drops back to pass. Tucks it and he's gonna run it. Brought down in the backfield. Vaughn Miller with his first sack and tackle of the night. The second time they've gotten to Watson tonight. As you can see, he just decided to tuck it and run and Miller read it perfectly. The Super Bowl 50 MVP. Speaking of which, DeAndre Hopkins is the Super Bowl is this, or, uh, Super Bowl MVP last year, so a matchup of Super Bowl MVPs as well. Watson hands off to Miller from the shotgun. 
brought down hard. And another loss. And it's Brandon Marshall with another tackle. Third and 18 coming up. And now the Houston Texans have got to figure out a way to, to make this happen. Shock information flanked by Miller. Three to the left, one to the right. Watson back to pass. And he is not even going to get a chance. Vaughn Miller with his second sack gets through the defensive line. Absolutely no stopping him. And it's going to be fourth and 25 from the 33 of Houston. Miller unchallenged all the way to Watson. What a play by the big linebacker for the Denver Broncos. Leckler on to punt it off for the Texans. And the kick is up. Pretty far kick. This is going to be caught by Robbie at the 20. Tries to get to the 30, but he is driven hard to the ground. It will be first and 10 from the Houston 29, or the, the Denver 29 for the Broncos. They trail 7 0, 453 left in the first court, first half. Simeon, shock information. Drops back to pass. Short pass to Charles. Charles crossed the 30. 35. Almost gets to the 40. Did he get the first down? They're going to say yes. And there's your passing comparison. 66.7% completion percentage to 60 in favor of the rookie Deshaun Watson over the second year starter Trevor Simeon. Simeon under center, strong eye formation for the Broncos. Simeon hands off to Charles. Charles goes straight ahead, cross the 40. Gain of three on the play, and it's second and seven. Brought down by Peters, his second tackle of the night. Four minutes and counting left to go in the, thir in the first half. Apologize for the video, uh, video uh, issues we're having. As Simeon, shock information flanked by Charles to the left and to the right. Simeon hands off to Charles. Charles goes straight ahead, across the 45, and that's where they're going to mark him. Third and four coming as he's brought down by J.J. Watt. Simeon from the gun, flanked by Charles. Two to the left, one to the right. Simeon, short step. He's going to tuck it and run in, and he's got room. Cross the 50, slides right after getting the first down. Gain of seven on the play, and it is first and 10 from the Houston 47. Smart move by Trevor Simeon. Had all the room and time to make that happen. As soon as he took off, you knew he was going to make it for that first down. Three minutes and counting left to go in the first half. 7-0 Houston, but Denver's coming. Ball in Houston territory on their 47-yard line. Simeon hands off to Charles. Charles goes straight ahead, across the 45, almost gets to the 40. It'll be stopped three yards short at the 43, and it is second and five after a gain of five. Watson with the tackle. Simeon, under center, eye formation, looks like it's going to be Char, they're going to win this game on the back of Charles, throws, incomplete, don't know where he was trying to go there, Fowler was the intended receiver, but there was nowhere, anywhere near where that ball landed, third and five coming up from the Houston 43. From the gun, two to the right, two to the left. Empty backfield. Calls an audible, now Simeon. Steps back, steps up into the pocket, throws deep, fires, and it is going to be incomplete. Almost in the back of the end zone, nearly picked off. 
Anderson was the intended receiver. But that man right there almost had a third interception on Trevor Simeon. Long field goal attempt. 58 yards, kick is up and it is no good. So it'll be first and 10 from the 50 for the Houston Texans now. Short field. Once again, I apologize for the video here, uh, problems we're having. Watson hands off to Miller, brought down in the backfield. Lost a three on the play. It was Brandon Marshall again with another tackle. Two minute warning in the first half, just hit. So it's seven nothing Houston here in the opening game of NFL Classic One. Back to the Lone Star State after this. Two minutes left in the first half. Second and 13 from the Houston 47, where we find ourselves. Watson from the gun. Fires medium to Fedora. It's Fedora, it's across the 40, first down, and still going, brought down at the 34. Stewart with the tackle. And Houston trying to get something going for him here. Bill Riley liking what he's seeing here from his Texans. And 140 left in the first half. 7-0 Houston. Watson from the gun. Watson going for Fuller. Fuller across the first down. Almost gets to the, cross the 10. He did get across the 10. Down to the 5. They're going to mark him at the 6. C.J. Fuller, the fifth. I'm sorry, not C.J. Fuller, the fifth, makes the catch and does a great job. It really looks like they're going to bring him down shy of the 10, and then he gets all the way almost to the five. Great catch and run by Fuller. And this place is rocking with a chance to go up by 14, first and goal. Watson. Going for the end zone and nearly intercepted. Whew. That was too close for comfort for pickoff number two for a key to lead. Believe on the coverage. Ray put his hand on it. Believe didn't finish off the play though. Fifty-four seconds left in the first half here on our opener. Winner moves to the second round. Loser's season is done. It's the equivalent of being one of the first eliminated from playoff contention. Watson back to pass. Rose picked off by Talib. Interception number two. And Akeem Talib is going to keep this a one possession ball game. Kneels it in the end zone, and it's going to be first and 10 from the 20 for Denver. Watson just makes a bad throw. Talib cuts off the intended receiver. Hopkins and just ends that threat right there. So each team has thrown two picks in this one and it's first and 10 from the Houston or Denver 20 with 48 seconds to go, Denver ball. Simeon drop back the pass, throwing deep and it is caught by Sanders. Oh, and it bounces out of his hands. You gotta keep a hold of that. 
Your team hasn't been able to mount much of anything and you're given a chance and you drop it. Gotta keep a hold of that. Second and 10 from the 20. Simeon in the gun. Cross back to pass. Tucks it and he's gonna run it, but he's gonna get brought down in the backfield. Timeout called. And it's 7-0 Houston with 38 seconds left to go. Denver calls the timeout. But hopefully with a chance to get that ball back. That's the idea anyways. Third and 14, loss of four on the play. So the Broncos come back out. And the Texans looking to keep this a 7-0 ball game. They've only got to hold it for about 38 more seconds, and then Houston will get the ball at the half. center drops back nope hands off to Anderson Anderson tries to go around I don't know why they decided to hand it off because now you're giving the ball back to Houston timeout called this time by Houston 34 seconds left to go and it's fourth and 13 Simeon on the sidelines I don't know why I, flat out I don't know why you make that play Punter for the Denver Broncos on to put this one in deep. But he's got a long way to go. Dixon. His punt's going to barely make it past midfield. As Strong catches it at the 40, gets across the 50, and immediately returns it to Denver territory. So a short field for Deshaun Watson with 25 seconds left to go. It'll be interesting to see what the Texans decide to do. Watson from the gun. Looks like they're going for it. Watson back to pass. Throwing deep. And it is intercepted by Stewart. The third interception thrown by Deshaun Watson. And just like that, the Denver Broncos are going to get the ball back with 20 seconds left in this first half. These teams are playing this first half like it's the end of the game. I don't know why you don't just kneel it because you get the ball back at the half if you're Houston. But once again, there's DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. They have him covered, and they take care of business. Three interceptions thrown by Watson, two by Simeon. Simeon with Charles, hands it off. He's got a hole, goes straight ahead. Cross the 30. Not quite cross the 30. And I believe we have another call, timeout called by Denver. 15 seconds left to go, first and 10. And they've got to go 71 yards. Trevor Simeon getting last minute instructions on what to do here. like they're ready to go finally I formation Charles in the backfield Here we go now. Green. Simeon back to pass throws and it is caught by Fowler just shy of the 50 another timeout called so Denver out of timeouts with nine seconds left to go and they are still in Denver territory they got to go 52 yards now so they're Making up time, but now they need an absolute prayer 
in order to get some points on the board before the half. If you're Denver, you really don't want to go into the half down by seven. You can, you don't want to be shut out this first half, especially with the way Houston looks like they're starting to build some momentum. However, that interception thrown by Deshaun Watson could have killed it all. Nine seconds left to go in the half. Simeon back to pass. Throws. Green caught at the 50, and he's knocked down. Shy of the 45, and the clock is going to tick away, and that's going to end the first half. So it will be 7-0 Houston. Halfway through the opener of NFL Classic 1. Can the Texans rebound, defend their title? We're about to find out if they have a shot at it. So they head back to the locker rooms. Denver probably not happy with the offensive effort they put in, but Houston must feel pretty good about it. But they've got to calm down their rookie quarterback, Sean Watson, three interceptions tonight. And we'll see what happens next right here on EOSN after this. And we're back here in Houston. Third quarter about to get underway. 16 minutes of regulation left. Houston will get the ball back, looking to keep and add to their lead. This one, high ball, end over end. It's going to be caught by Strong in the end zone. He needs it, so they'll just go ahead and play it safe and start from their own 25. Hundred six total yards to seventy six in favor of Houston. Watson will hand off to Miller for the first play of the second half. And he's brought down in the backfield. No gain on the play. Denver has only allowed nine rushing yards. Now it's Davis who gets the tackle. Watson under center. Miller straight ahead. He's got a hole across the 30. Gets to about the 33. Brought down after a game of eight. Third and two coming up. Davis with the tackle again. Two plays in a row that he's been the man to bring him down. As the clock continues to wind. 7-14 and counting. Watson under center. Strong eye. Hopkins in motion. Watson hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead. Trucks one guy. Gets to the first down. What a play by Lamar Miller. Absolutely trucks one defender before Darren Wolf is able to bring him down. Here's that replay right here. Runs and cleans out Vaughn Miller. That is not an easy thing to do. What a play by Lamar Miller. 6.43 and counting left in the first, first quarter of the second half, so third quarter. Under center. Watson back to pass. Pitches it to Miller across the 30. Oh, and gets to the 40. And it will be second and six. They're going to mark him at the 39. 101 passing yards so far for the Texans. Lamar Miller, two receptions for 16 yards. And I believe he's only rushed for about 13. Miller so far showing he can stay on his feet no matter what the cost. And maybe these short little dip and dunk passes are just what the, the Texans need to calm down the rookie quarterback. Shot information, so something big might be coming here. Watson going downfield, nearly intercepted. Harris, the man who almost got his claws on that one for interception number four of the night for Deshaun Watson. Again, intended for DeAndre Hopkins. However, if he throws that one just a little bit higher to get past Harris and that lands in Watkins' hands, we could be looking at a 14-0 ball game here. 
But alas, that isn't what happened, and the clock stops at 5.58. Third and six from their own 39. Long way to go if you're Houston. Watson, back to pass. Short pass to Foreman, cross the 35, 40. Locked down at the 42. Fourth and three, so Leckler will have to come on and punt it again. And you see the look on Watson's face. Says it all. He's a little frustrated right now with the way things are going in this one. Even though they do hold a 7-0 lead. Leckler waiting for the punt, for the ball. Kicks this one high, and it looks like this one will be fielded inside the, fit about the, inside the 15 by Robbie. He's brought down four yards later at the 19. First and 10, 524 left in the third quarter. 7-0 Houston. Trevor Simeon breaks the troops, and here we go. Shotgun formation for the Broncos. Simeon back to pass. Throws. Caught by Sanders. Cross the 35. Gets to the 40. And then Markham just shy at the 39. He's the impact performer so far. 75 yards, two interceptions, no touchdowns. They got to get him going. In this type of format where it's one and done, you can't afford to have an off game. Whoever wins this is going to be the team that is the closest to perfect. And sometimes it's the team you don't expect. We saw that in the baseball classic with the Minnesota Twins winning the world title over the two-time National League champion, Washington Nationals. Simeon drops back to pass, and he's shot down in the end zone. Watkins with the sack. His second one of the night. 440 left to go and it's second and 17. Denver needs to get something going and they need to get it going now. And they're going to move on to the next round. Winner of this game will play the winner of Seattle at Pittsburgh. That will be a very fun game to look at. Simeon from the gun. Once again, really want to apologize for the video quality. Uh, the recording must have been weird as Sanders catches it. Cross the 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, all the way to the end zone. Huge touchdown for the Denver Broncos. Sanders ties this one up. Huge pet catch and run by Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders made that catch all the way in Bronco territory by the 40 and runs it about 60 yards. No one can catch him. A dive about the five and that pretty much sealed it there. And now we're looking at a tie ball game here and Denver just might be going now. And look at that Denver bench. They are ignited now, 414 left. In the third quarter, chance to tie it up. Kick is up and it is good. So Emmanuel Sanders, three receptions for 101 yards, averaging 33 yards. And now Deshaun Watson, the gauntlet has been thrown to you, sir. Time to make your move. Kick is up. Caught by Miller just inside the end zone. Across the 15, doesn't make it to the 20. It'll be stopped at the 18. Just a reminder, our next broadcast will be the Giants at the Pack. That should be a fun one. Watson hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead and he's going to get dropped. So... Loss of two on the play. And the Texans trying to stay alive and take the lead back. So 
Tie ball game at seven thanks to that electrifying catch by Manuel Sanders. Under center. Watson, short pass to Prosich. Prosich can get to the 20. Gains about a yard and it's now third and 11 and now the Texans look like they're the ones that are playing flat footed right now. Can't get anything going for them. Once again, want to apologize for the video quality. We're going to be working on that in the future. Um, it's it, it the device is a uh, it's a finicky little thing like uh, most equipment. Watson drops back, throws deep, fires by Fedorowicz. Fedorowicz across the 40, brought down at the 42. First and 10 for Houston. So they're going to get a play right when they maybe have needed it most. The keep to leave on the coverage couldn't bring him down. Absolutely drops a keep to leave. Sorry, Khalid makes the tackle. My apologies. I don't know who had him, but they couldn't make make anything happen with it. About 2:50 left in the third quarter. This game is moving fastly now. Strong eye formation for Houston. Watson hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead. Nothing there. Game of about two on the play. What this could be is um, the recording device runs on component cables, so maybe I need to readjust the, the cables into it. Maybe that's what's going on. We'll do some playing around, and uh, hopefully we get this fixed in the future. Watson back to pass. Throws. Caught by Strong. What a catch. Looks like he bumbled it a little bit. No, he one-handed catch that sucker. What a play by Strong. And now the Houston Texans looking like they're feeling a little bit more comfortable where they're at right now. Shotgun formation for the Texans. Ball in Denver territory. Watson back to pass. Throwing under pressure, caught by uh, Miller. Loss of five, however, on the play. So he was happy to catch the ball, but he was way behind the line of scrimmage. Almost brought down immediately by Brandon Marshall and company. Shotgun information for the Texans, second and 15. Ball dead center on the 50 yard line. Watson back to pass, throws. Caught by Fuller, Fuller tries to get to the 40 but he won't get in, they will give it to him but it's third and five. Big play coming up for the Houston Texans right now. Marshall with his fifth tackle of the game. Absolutely tremendous job by him. He's been all over the place covering everybody. Stopping runs, stopping passes, doing everything. Keep to lead with two interceptions himself. So that is how good this Denver defense has been. One of those Akeem to lead interceptions was in the end zone. That could come back to play a huge factor. Watson throws to Foreman. Foreman across the 40. Across the, to the 30 and makes it to the first down. Now five yards past it. 34 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And counting, the clock is still rolling, so we might get one more playoff before we head to the fourth. Don't know yet. Great block by Allen, cleaning out Chris Harris and providing him a chance to get that first down. He took advantage of it, that's for sure. 23 seconds left to go and counting. We might get a playoff, and it's going to be a big play here. 
Empty backfield, shot confirmation. Watson dropping back to pass. Going deep, and it's incomplete. Watson hit during the pass, and it's intended for Fedorowicz. 11 seconds still on the clock, so we may get another one off. Well, we will get another one off. Second and 10 from the 30 of Denver. Watson hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead. He's going to get the first down, just maybe. No. He gets brought down a little early. It'll be 31, and the clock is going to expire. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and it's all tied up. 7-7 here in the NFL Classic 1. Opening game, reigning world champion Houston Texans taking on the Denver Broncos. All knotted up. Back to Houston after this. Welcome back to Houston. Once again, want to apologize for the video quality. We will be working really, really hard to solve that for the future. As we have eight minutes left in this one. Third and one from the 21 of Denver is where we find Houston with the ball. A chance to take the lead back. If they don't get this one, you better believe they're sending the field goal unit out there. Watson from the gun. Hands off to Miller. Miller goes straight ahead, gets the first down. Gets across the 15, and it'll be first and 10 from the 13. Lamar Miller, 14 rushes, and TJ Ward with his fourth tackle of the game. Miller has been absolutely spectacular so far for the Houston Texans. And Deshaun Watson, the rookie quarterback, is about seven minutes and 40 seconds away from what could be Oh, first round win for the Houston Texans and the rookie QB. First and 10 from the 13. Watson drops back to pass. Steps into the pocket, and he's eaten up immediately by about four Broncos. Just chewed him up and spit him out. As you saw in the graphic there, Houston has two trips to the red zone tonight. One ended in a touchdown, the other ended in an end zone interception by Aqib Tlaib. That was about a four yard run by Miller was what resulted in the only seven points Houston has as Watson will hand off to Miller. Miller thrown back big time behind the line. Wolf, the man there again, hit the third time we've seen him cause damage in this one. And this Denver defense is getting all the momentum right now and is just crashing the offensive line of Houston. Third and 16 from the 19 coming up. Watson under center. Shots back to pass. Throws, and it's going to be nearly intercepted. Guess who? Aqib Tlaib almost got his third interception off of Watson. Just couldn't hang on to it. Intended for strong, and it just bounces off of his hands. So now the Houston Texans. Fourth and 16, they send in the field goal unit to try to take the lead. Waiting for the chance, Savage holds. Kick is up, and that is gonna be good. It is now 10 to seven. Fairburn. Puts them up by three. And now we'll see if Houston has a response here. Or not Houston, Denver. As Houston has responded and has taken the lead back. Fairburn tees it up and he's getting ready to kick it to Robbie. 6.22 left in the fourth quarter. Three point lead for Houston in this Game one of the NFL Classic, a one and done tournament 
featuring all 32 teams in the NFL as Taylor makes the catch, needs it in the end zone, and they'll start from their own 25. This wouldn't be a winning drive possibility, but it's a chance to keep your guys in it. Simeon drops back to pass, throws deep, caught by Sanders. Sanders at the 50, he's open again, across the 40, brought down at the 35, or at the 33. Emmanuel Sanders absolutely doing damage to the Houston Texans defense, specifically the secondary. Makes this catch all the way in Houston territory. Breaks one tackle, breaks another, finally brought down at the 33 of Houston. And they are within tying distance if they need it. Six minutes and counting left to go in the game. Simeon under center. Simeon drops back to pass. Going for it, gets it to Charles. Charles crossed the 30, dropped at the 26. Second and third coming up. Charles, his second reception, and he's got 17 yards. Cunningham with his fifth tackle of the night is the man who brings him down. Simeon starting to find a little bit of a groove here. And a big chance here for them. Second and three from the 26. Denver trying to take their first lead of the night. Currently trail by three. Simeon steps back, throws it, and it's incomplete. Intended for Davis, and it's going to be batted down. Simeon wants that one back. The Denver Broncos know they've got a very good chance here. Third and three. Watch for them to hand it off to Charles just to set up the first down. Run formation, trips to the right. We're thinking big play here. Simeon back to pass, throws, and it is caught by Fowler at the 10. Brought down at the five. And the Broncos are really starting to move it now. Bryce Fowler, the third. Valentine with the tackle. What a play by Simeon. Just chucks that one up and high, trusting that Fowler's going to be in the right spot. And now it's first and goal for Denver. Defense chance going out here. 450 left in the game. High formation, Jamal Charles waiting in the wings. Simeon, short pass, and it's nearly intercepted. What a diving stop. Absolutely brilliant play. Almost intercepted. That would have been quite the way to end the game if you're Houston. But Denver's going to have a chance here. Second and goal from the five, 440 left to go in the game. Simeon from the gun, flanked by Charles. Simeon back to pass, steps up in the pocket. He's going to tuck it, try to run it in himself. Did he get in? Yes, they're saying he's in. And Denver has their first lead of the night, 13 to 10. With 4.34 left in the game, it's going to be up to the Denver defense to stop Deshaun Watson. And you got to like your chances if you're Denver because Watson has not been able to put up a lot, a lot against you guys. So we'll see what the home team will, how they'll respond. Currently, it's 13-10, Denver. 
Chance to make it 14-10. Kick is up and it is good. Right down the middle. Six plays, 75 yards in one minute, 48 seconds. Great job there by Trevor Simeon. Two carries for 12 yards. One for the touchdown. Four thirty-four left to go, and once again, we want to apologize for the video quality. We will be working on that. Mark my words. Strong makes the catch in the end zone, cross the ten, gets to the twenty, and that's where they're going to mark him. Four thirty-one left in the game. Denver leads by four, so only a touchdown will do. Two hundred thirty-five to hundred eighty-five, uh, eighty two hundred thirty-four. 185 total yards for Denver over Houston. Watson throwing deep, fires to Strong, makes the catch at the 35. And that's where they're going to mark him as well. Brand with the tackle. Four nineteen to go in the game. In counting. Ball on the Houston 35. Let's see what they do here. Watson under center. Hands off to Miller. No, fixed hand off to Miller. Play action. Going deep, fires. Caught by Strong at the 50. And they're going to mark him at the 47. Good play action there by the rookie quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The one reason they've been able to do that is because Lamar Miller has done damage to them. So if they see the ball going his way, what a catch by Strong again. No shortage of spectacular plays here. It's the first game of the season, but they're playing like their lives depending on it because it does. Win and you face the winner of Pittsburgh and Seattle in the second round, lose, and you're done. Your chances at a championship are gone. Watson drops back to pass, throwing deep, fires, caught by Miller. This time it's Braxton Miller. For a gain of 23, and they have the ball on the Houston, or on the Denver 30. We've been talking a lot about Lamar Miller, but now we get the former Ohio State quarterback, Braxton Miller, turned professional wide receiver. Making that play. And now Deshaun Watson has given himself a fighting chance. 3-11 left in the game. Watson from the shotgun, empty backfield. Four wide receivers. Watson back to pass. Throws, and it's going to be caught by Miller inside the five. Braxton Miller with his second consecutive interception, or uh, reception. And it's first and goal from the four. Deshaun Watson might have found his go-to man in Braxton Miller. Every time he goes to DeAndre Hopkins, they either almost pick it off or do pick it off. And now Watson might have found who he can go, who he can trust in that type of situation. First and goal from the four, down by four, 242 left in the game. Watson, shock information. Back to pass. In zone. Caught by Fedorowicz. Then that's going to make it a 16 to 14 game. 2.27 left to go. And a huge play by CJ Fedorowicz and a great throw and a great read by Deshaun Watson. They left Fedorowicz wide open. I don't know what they were thinking. And now it is a 16 to 14 ball game. About to be 17 as Fairburn will come on to make it a three point game. 227 left in the game. Still plenty of times. We got the two minute warning. And all teams have all timeouts. So, long way from the finish in this one. 17 14 for. The Texans. Fedorowicz has had a great game, and now Simeon is going to have to answer the call. 
Robbie in the end zone to receive it from Fairburn. Fairburn. Long kick, not so much high. Caught by Robbie. Robbie across the 10. Tries to get to the 15, and he will, but he won't get to the 20. So they'll start from their own 17. 2.23 left to go in the game. Denver Broncos offense versus Houston Texans defense to stay alive. A literal fight to the death for their season. Simeon drops back to pass, throws deep, fires, and it is nearly intercepted. Oh, that would have been the final nail in the coffin for Denver if they had held on to that. Thomas, the intended receiver, big tight end. I'm sorry, Fuller. And he's anxious to get another one. He says, give it to me again. Sorry, Green. Gosh, I can't read the uniforms from there. Green was the intended receiver. He's anxious for another one. He says, give it to me again. I'll bring it down. 218 left to go in the game. Second and 10 from the 17. Back goes Simeon. Simeon tucks it. He's going to run. Brought down. Cunningham with the sack. And it's a loss of two. Third and 12 from the 15. 205, 204, 203, 202, 201. So I think we're hitting the two minute warning now. Three point game, two minutes left to go. And once that final second takes off. Yep, there we go. And once again, just want to apologize for the video quality. We will be working on that, and this will be fixed. Don't know if it'll be fixed by our next broadcast, but it will be fixed for sure by the playoffs. Two minutes to go. Back goes Simeon. Simeon steps up, fires. Caught by Sanders. Sanders crossed the 40. 50. On the again, he steps out of bounds. He could have gone all the way. But he's brought down at the Houston, at the Denver, sorry, the uh, Houston, 46. Huge play there. Emmanuel Sanders has been the man to get it done for the Broncos all day. Huddle by Denver. And they're going to go for it here. Shotgun formation, empty backfield. Simeon drops back to pass, throws, short pass to Thomas. Thomas gets the first down, and they are in Denver territory, and they are within range to tie this one up. It's a three-point ball game with a minute 47 left to go. Denver got out of, uh, Thomas gets out of bounds as well, so that stops the clock. Everything might be rolling Denver's way. One forty-seven left to go in the game. Ball is on the Houston 32. Denver trails by three. Simeon, shotgun formation. Back to pass. Throws, finds Fowler. Fowler tries to get across the 25 and he will. He's brought down the 24, here's the hurry up. 136 left to go in the game and counting. Simeon back to pass. Throws the short to Green. Green gets out of bounds inside the 20. And it's first and 10 from the 16. 131 left in the game. All three teams have all their timeouts. Both teams have all three timeouts. Sorry. I'm Green. The big tight end, he didn't let him down this time. He said, get me the ball, I'll bring it down after he had that really close call. Well, what looked like it was going to be a defensive showdown has materialized into a shootout, especially here in the fourth quarter. Simeon. Back to pass. Throws, and it's caught by Thomas. Thomas across the 10. It's second and two from the eight. Hurry up offense again, initiated by Simeon. Gets the Broncos to the line. Simeon drops back to pass. 
Throwing for the end zone, caught by Thomas. Thomas brought down at the one. No, he says he's in, and the Denver Broncos take the lead. It looked like he got down at the one, but they said he got in. We'll surely see the replay on that. Thomas makes the catch, and he does. He literally jumps, and the momentum by the tackle puts him in the end zone. Peters literally pushes him in the end zone in the air, and Denver now has the lead. 20 to 17, a three point game about to be a four point game, a minute 16 to go. Lynch holds it, and it's up. Good, it's 21 17, and Denver fighting for their lives. 298 yards by Trevor Simeon, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Now just John Watson is gonna have to respond. He's got a minute 16 to go to do it with, and all three timeouts. Kick is up. Caught by Miller. Miller from inside the end zone, across the 10, and he gets to about the 15. And we're gonna mark him at the 16. 112 left to go. Crowd is into this one, and why wouldn't she be? It has turned into a shootout here in the second half. Watson drops back to pass, throws, gets it to Miller. Miller breaks one tackle, gets across the 15, but only gets a gain of one yard as Watson initiates the hurry-up offense. Watson drops back to pass, tucks it, and he's going to run it. He's got room, brought down at the 20. Timeout called by Houston. They trail by four, 56 seconds left to go, and they got to go 81 yards. A touchdown is what it will take. A field goal would still put them down by one, as you can see. This one is. Apologies, we had disconnection there. This one has turned into an exciting one. Less than a minute to go. Two timeouts remaining for Houston. You can bet they're going to be using them if they don't get anything good here. Third and seven. Big play coming up. Well, really, every play from here on out is going to be big. Watson back to pass. Throws deep, fires, and it is almost caught by Hopkins. Bounces off of his hands. A keep to leave on the coverage. Fourth and seven. What do you do? Do you go for it or do you submit or do you surrender the game? If you do that, you're pretty much saying your season is over and the Houston Texans, the reigning world champions, are in danger of not making it to the playoffs. Fourth and seven, this is a huge one here. This could do it. 51 seconds left to go, Watson drops back to pass. Throws and it is going to be intercepted by Chris Harris Jr. The game is over. And the Denver Broncos are going to take this one from the Houston Texans. The Broncos end the Houston Texans season in the first game of the year. What a surprise. Well, I mean, this isn't the same team that took it all last year. But you would expect them to at least make it to the second half of the season. They're not. We renamed the first round, first half of the season, meaning by the first eight weeks, your season was that bad that you're mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. And now the Broncos just got to keep the ball for 46 seconds. Simeon hands off to Charles. Charles goes around to the left, brought down, and timeout called by Houston. So this game may not be over yet. It is 42 seconds left to go. Only one timeout. It's second and 12. I mean... What a game this has been. But the Houston Texans are going to be eliminated early from playoff contention. The first round is called the first half of the season. Second round is called the second half of the season, meaning if they lose in the second half of the season, they were really close to making the playoffs, but their push died out. And then the next round is, is the divisional round and the championship round and so on and so forth. So the Denver Broncos are going to keep their playoff hopes alive 
Most light, and barring something miraculous and end the playoff and title defense aspirations of the Texans. How about that? Simeon hands off to Charles. Charles goes straight ahead. Brought down after a gain of two, and it's third and ten. Another timeout called by Houston. That's their last one, though. With 39 seconds left to go, they can pretty much let the clock tick off after this. And the Houston Texans look like they are in disbelief right now. They won the last game of the season last year, crowning them world champions. Now they're looking at losing the first game of the season this year, meaning they would be the first one out. Talk about going from the top all the way to the bottom. But you can't speak enough about the Denver Broncos and their fighting spirit this game. They went down early, but they came back ever since then. Whenever Deshaun Watson or the Houston Texans made a play, they answered, and it was a huge, in huge part to Emmanuel Sanders. Knee by Simeon, 33 seconds and counting left to go in this one, fourth and 12, and it looks like Leckler will, or not Leckler, Dixon will be punting it off to Houston. With around 20 seconds left to go, they may actually just be sending him out there just to kill the clock. I believe they are with 10 seconds left to go. So the Houston Texans are going to lose to the Denver Broncos. They will not defend their world title. They will be sitting at home watching the Super Bowl and watching the playoffs instead of participating. Final score here, Houston 17, Denver 21. Trevor Simeon, what a game he had. And you see the look of disbelief on the Houston Texans' face. Keep to leave our player of the game. Two sacks, two interceptions. He was all over the place and did everything right. Coaches meet in the middle. And Simeon with that throw to Harris. Or sorry, to Thomas. Which ended up being the winning touchdown. Final score again, 17-21 in favor of the Broncos. 280 passing yards for Simeon, 232 for the Texans. So we leave a rainy NRG stadium and we will see it next year. But we are done now here at the, 2000, the uh, first NFL Classic. So... So we now update that on our bracket. Final score, Houston 17. Denver 21. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sorry about the technical difficulties we experienced. Denver will play the winner of Pittsburgh and Seattle. Our next game will feature this matchup right here. Number 6 Green Bay will host number 11 New York Giants. So from all of us here at EOSN, Happy New Year, and we will see you guys soon for that broadcast. Take care.